With me now is Dr. Donald Palmasano. He is the former president of the AMA, now a spokesperson uh, for the Coalition to Protect Patients' Rights. Doctor, good to have you. Thank you, Neil. Privileged to be here. I never know, and, and Dick and I were chatting about it, I, I don't know whether the White House provided the white lab coats for these guys, or they're, they're, they just brought them themselves, but they, it's always impressive. I think when you have a white lab coat and, a, and, a, and, and like a, a board or something, you know, a clipboard, I mean, man, you, can do, you can enter any building, even the White House. So which is more representative, do you think, doctor, these ones who gathered at the White House today or these ones who are protesting from the White House not too far off today? Well, it, it's our view, Neil, that the majority of doctors do not want the government to take over medicine. And this public option is a disaster in the details. And what we have at play here is power, politics, and patience. And what we want to do at the coalition, protectpatientsrights.org, what we want to do and what the other coalitions like the uh, Medical Association of Georgia and their multiple medical societies and specialties over 43,000 physicians. We want the patient to be in control. We want people to fix the problems with the health insurance companies by allowing people to buy across state lines, by allowing people to own their own insurance, give tax credits, give people the incentive to be prudent purchasers of medical care. Well, this he's thing not is doing any of the above. At least the initial well, plan, he's not. not doing any. So let me ask you this. If the and he president, gives rhetoric. Yeah, all go right. ahead. But, but if the president is saying, it's going to be the way I'm envisioning, public option. We're not going to deal with this stuff with insurance companies and cross straight lines. He might throw a bone out on tort reform and leave it up to the states, but even that's a big leap. Let's say this passes. Then what? Well, it'll be a disaster because right now you have a public option for many years. You have Medicaid. Medicaid, you have insurance, but you have trouble finding doctors. Why is that? Because they pay below. The government pays below the cost of delivering the medical care. And so you have a public option in Maine, a complete failure. You have it in Tennessee, a complete failure. Why do we want to repeat the failures? You want to go well, around we, the world? I, I understood that Maine really does have a public option in, insofar as you have one have big Deer carrier. Ago. That, that the, represents the state, right? And so well, the main senators health. always come on this show and they say, well, you know, this might yeah. cut it in California, New York, where there are plenty of providers, but in Maine, there aren't that many, and we might need a public option. Well, talk to the neurosurgeons of America. They're opposed to the plan out the tri-committee in the House and the Senate Finance. By the way, uh, have you seen the bill in the Senate Finance Committee? Has anybody seen the wording? Is, or is this going to be scored based on a summary? I mean, well, imagine you know, going to... raise a great point because they're not going to score this until it's all yeah. done. In other words, there's no scoring yeah. along the well, way, which that, is, that is quite precedent-shattering. Like yeah. That's so like you, me telling you I'm going to operate on you, Neil, but I don't know what you had. I don't know if you need the operation, but I'm going to do it anyway, and we'll decide what we're going to do when we get in. Or I you mean, take a trip and you get you the bill afterwards, and then all the details come out in that. But It's a disaster. So bottom line, these doctors together, they all seem like smart folks, and in their lab coats they look smart. Are you, they all being duped? Well, I, I think that uh, they're making a serious mistake, and, and we all can make mistakes. And rushing, it's like in medicine. If you rush something in medicine, you can make an error and hurt the patient. Well, we're going to hurt all of the patients in America by this rush, and right. there's no reason to do that. Let's do this in a prudent fashion, have civil discussions, stop the name-calling, and let's find something that works. And we know that health savings accounts work, we know that medical liability reform works, we know that buying across state lines works, works for automobiles. Let's do something practical and reasonable and put the patient in control All with right. the physician as trusted advisor. Well, Doctor, Thanks, you might get your chance if this goes down in flames anyway. Um, very good seeing Thank you. you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what would have...